We have been staffed of local football news recently, so it was a pleasant surprise that local football made the news on Sunday evening with the return of Bayhaki Kaizen back to Singapore football. And I'm glad to say that the Singapore International and new Tampanese Rovers defender joins us online via Zoom. This is the way we do it now. By uh, Thanks for joining us. Since the news has been revealed on Sunday evening, how has been the response from friends and family? Hi, Dunk. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, first of all, yeah, like I tell you just now, my phone hasn't been, <laughs> uh, you know, has been ringing nonstop. Uh, thankfully, it, it, it has been a positive um, vibe and mood all the way. You know, uh, people accepting me uh, coming back to Singapore and, you know, me accepting reality right now, you know, I have to, I have to forgo my, my overseas ventures. Uh, you know, if we take a look, fast forward, uh, it's 11 years now. So, um, I have to thank my family for that and, you know, for their support all this while, uh, allowing me to venture out. And I don't even realize uh, that I miss a lot of uh, my children's milestone, you know, going forward, especially my, my big boy, Mika. Uh, since P1, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm aware of his results and whatnot, but you know, important things like events, sports days, things like that, you know, and I think I need to come back. I, I promised myself that 2020 with Prachop would be my last outing and to come back and be a real father, like physical father, <laughs> not an online father. Uh, so yeah, but uh, but it, 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 it didn't happen that way. Uh, it, it just got, got cut short and here I am again. Was family the deciding factor, the deciding factor in you staying in Singapore in the SPL? Um, I can say yes, that's my that's one of my first main priority to get my to get back uh, you know to family life. Obviously we I don't want to start plugging reasons about you know age or football and everything, but as much as I want to continue uh dunk, you know. Even my wife told me that, hey, you, you, if you want to go for another year or two, you know, we will still support you, you know. But dang, when, when you are away, when I'm away, I'm alone. You know, when you start to have these reflections, uh, you know, within you, and you start to think what's going on back home, uh, is it really okay? Are they, you know, this kind of thing starts to, like, so-called haunting me right now. Um, when I'm in Prachwap, especially when it's COVID period, you know, you have your own time, you do nothing at home, it's locked down, and these are the period where you start to think, hey, what am I doing here? You know, I'm, I'm really alone. <laughs> yeah, so, that, that, that got me in, that got me into thinking, when will this stop? And, you know, it's no more, it's no more a joy ride or a fun fair ride anymore is is it's now get to serious business now what's going on back home are the kids really okay uh, is everything okay i just sold my house you know it's it's think major things are happening you know so we need to move on for the next phase of our life and this is the part where i really need to to sit down and and draw a map of of where are we going next yeah. So we were in conversation, uh, especially as your time ended uh, with Prachwap and you were serving your 14-day stay-home notice at Intercontinental Hotel. You celebrated Hari Raya yeah. with your family. <laughs> How did the conversations go um, from you arriving in Singapore to you signing with Tampanese Rovers? How did that whole process happen? Uh, no, Dan, let's, let's, let's trace back to, let's go back to uh, when I'm in Prachwap. You know, after, after terminating the contract, uh, there were still clubs uh, calling me right, the, right after the day uh, that it happened. You know, I can, I can say a good three to four teams from T1 and T2s, you know, still calling and still wanting to seal the deal before I even go back to Singapore. But then again, I, you know, for the first time, of, for the first time in my life, I, I don't, I'm, I'm really, really calm about these offers, you know. Like, I don't really, like, get into panicking mode and hey come on let's sign these papers and before i go back to singapore and let's get it done let's get it sorted and let's talk later you know i'm i'm really really calm at that moment knowing that 
and these teams are are pretty I can say mid range and top teams, eh? and uh, I can tell them that look, uh, the window transfer is is August, that is coming August. So let's stop during June or during July. I need to attend to some. I need to attend to something very important. So that's how calm I am, knowing inside me, I I don't prioritize them at all. But at the same time, done. I have I I also I'm about to encounter this problem as well. Upon going back to Singapore. Who will take me? That's the that's the that's the another question. Um, I eventually I'm prepared. Dang, I'm prepared to go jobless. I can say I can. I'm prepared to go jobless for it for year 2020, knowing that it's a. Uh, I mean, it doesn't affect me alone. It affect everybody else. You know, yeah, in all the different sectors and all all kinds of job scopes, people are retrenching. You know, they, they got sacked and people are doing odd jobs. So I'm I'm more than prepared to accept. And embrace that uh, that impact uh, together with my family. You know, as long as I can be close to them, you know, be together with them for the whole year of 2020. You know, minimal spending, just live as it is, <laughs> and let's look forward for 2020. Yeah, I look. Let's look forward for 2021. Sorry. Then comes uh. Okay, as I was with Mizuno. Uh, is with uh, I'm contracted to Ruben Sports Mizuno in Singapore. Um, these are the people that calls me every day. Uh, even I I got to credit uh, national team manager Eric Ong as well. Uh, been calling me every every once a week to ask to ask me why what are your plans? You know, Tatsuma is asking about you and everybody is concerned. So all this kind of stuff. So I I, I try to remain as calm as I can and try to accept. The, the real reality, which is not not to have clubs, uh, if that happened. So <clears throat> going forward, yeah, they, they called me and uh, Sherman from uh, Ruben Sports, he managed to link me up with uh, Tempanese saying that, hey, bro, I think you, I think Tempanese uh, is showing interest in you. And especially coming from Coach Gavin, coming from Desmond himself, Duncan, really, I, I, I feel like like a new, not not say newborn, but I, I have this, a new set of uh, belief, you know, coming into me, a very new energy that enters my body, uh, telling me that, hey, you are still needed, you, you are still wanted, even though in, in this COVID-19 period, you know, so that gives me some sort of, a, like a hope, you know, like an like a opening smile entering Singapore. <laughs> Yeah, and going forward, yes, we got all that sorted. Uh, it, it it was a very quick uh, decision making lah for both party. Uh, we it's, it's it's very straightforward, and I know I know the problems uh, financially that clubs are going through here. I didn't expect so much. Like I tell you, I was expecting to. It's already expected that I'm going jobless. Uh, when I say jobless, means without any pay. So I'm prepared for that. So this offer came. Uh, knowing that they have uh, the financial problems as well at, at stake, so I'm I'm calm now, <laughs> really accepting that. So obviously, you you had the opportunity to to play for any SPL team. Um, now that you the news is out that you're playing for free in in 2020, were were there any thoughts in your mind of maybe Lion City Sailors with the project that they have, or maybe even going back to to Geylang International, the team that you started out with? Uh, what, what, mine or, or was Tampa's Rovers the, the clear front uh, runner for you? Uh, okay, Dung, uh, we can look at it as at, at, at two angles. Uh, you know. First, being a player and second, being coming from a management point of view. I mean, normally as players, you know that, hey, you are a player. Normally, you, you would expect uh, a club to call you or you would expect uh, someone someone from the club to call you. It's not an egoistic matter. It's not a it's not something. It's not an arrogant matter, like, You know, it's just it's just a natural way. Uh, players living day to day, hoping clubs would call you. You, know? you understand? Yes, of course. We I have good ties with with No Ali. With I mean, they are my friends. You know, they are, I can just call them and say hello and whatnot. But um, coming to Tampines. Rovers, uh, I can see their sincerity. Yeah, uh, uh, even even Gavin, 
put in a word saying that by you 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 suit our style this is the football that we wanted to play and this is how we are going forward so obviously i did uh, watch their games against like city sellers against uh, the first few games of the spl to be honest brother when i played in gelang also last time tempenis is the team that you everybody it seems that like everybody want to play for you know you understand the football that they play you were, you were with tempenis before right during your during your younger days yeah so you know it's it's some sort of a of a special team that you want to be part of so this question has been like uh, when when will it happen you know during those days also you know i i remember teo hok sing uh, on ma- on many occasion you know during sultan of slango we got a chance to meet him you know and every time he will pat on my back and say hey when are you coming to play for me <laughs> that kind of thing. so i will you know tempenis rovers playing for tempenis rovers i i would think that it would never happen uh, throughout my career well eventually it does uh, i'm pre- i'm proud to be to be one of them and i'm looking forward to to you know to give my best lah for my remaining years you will be likely partnering up with uh, with daniel bennett i think the combined age of the both of you will be close to 80 years <laughs> uh, <laughs> the oh my god SPL. i'm looking forward to that partnership though uh well brother, obviously yes i i i i, I spoke to dan about it uh, and he laughed <laughs> First thing first he laugh about it and say hey, bye. You know how old are we if we partner together? <laughs> I say mate, don't worry there's smart dude there's uh, you know there's Amirul Latli, you know don't worry we can always like switch around and stuff. Um it, straight away then uh dunk it was a very very positive um environment uh, you know. Uh, even Madhu called me, even Madhu text me. He say hey bro come let's I mean, can't wait to meet you and stuff like that. You know, all these Lions Chow vibes during yeah. those days. Erwan Shah and uh, even now, <clears throat> Amirul Ali also in the team for the national team lately. Yeah, I can obviously there are no strangers to me. You know, um, I can I can say that uh, I'm pretty. I felt the warmth uh, welcoming me into the team. Uh, I understand that there there are young players as well like uh, Shah Shahiran. We have uh, Joel. Um, I managed to watch them. In Bangkok, and I I paid them a visit during the one of the friendly games uh, in Thailand during the preseason. Brother, really, I can say that they they have a very interesting young players, uh, companies, going forward. So I think this is a very interesting uh, pro- project for myself. Uh, you know, I would love to win titles. I haven't win any SPL title yet, <laughs> so I I hope I hope this is the time. Um, being with one of the best teams in Singapore, Tampines Rovers. I was just going to ask you that: Are you joining the strongest team in the SPL at this current moment? I feel so. I feel so dumb, to be honest. Yes. Um, I mean, of course. Obviously, everybody now. Um, you know, lately we we know the attention is going to the Lion City Sailors. Uh, well, kudos to them. I congratulate them for their for their project. I wish them all the best. You know, going forward. Um, but brother, the football. This is football we're talking about. Sometimes players, you need to when you enter into a team. Sometimes you just need to see whether it suits you or it doesn't suit you. You know, sometimes are you forcing yourself in or or not? So I think that looking at Tampines, he has always been that exciting, calm and possession free flowing football. Um, that that gameplay has always been. Um, been played in Thailand that's how Thai use as well you know those tactics and I'm I'm pretty impressed with coach Gavin to be honest with you um, at this age at, at, at this young age he managed to you know he manages players like Yase he managed players like Madu you know that even Daniel Bennett which is like how many years younger man you know and these players I can say well some of them are not easy players I can say I'm I myself <laughs> I'm not an easy individual as well. So so for somebody to actually say that say bye we I I think we you can come in and suit the team very well. You know, very calm. He's a very calm guy, very I don't know man. I suddenly I have so much respect for him. 
you know that's 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 the first encounter that you know when I when I met him, I I heard a lot from Amri as well. You know I heard from all the senior players as well. So, you know this give me like some sort of a of a, you know like new new energy for me to work on with. You know I I just don't want to have negative vibes in me anymore and I just I'm 36 damn I want to come back to Singapore and enjoy football this time around you know I don't want to unnecessarily put on myself into unnecessary pressure or certain burdens into myself I just want to be in a team collectively work together as a team and win something and let's be happy together that's what you know one of the reasons as well when when are you? It's all virtual training at the moment. Have you joined them in uh, in virtual training yet? And how has been the atmosphere and the welcome uh, that you've you've received? No, yeah, no, yeah, done. I'm re- I'm joining them tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow five pm. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm I'm pretty. I'm looking forward to see all the boys. I mean, there are local boys like Huzaifa as well. Uh, you know, the, okay, the foreigners, even Jordan Webb. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> I he he he'll just be the same Jordan forever wherever he go, even ten years ago or twenty years ago <laughs> till now, <laughs> he's still the same Jordan. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward for that. But in the meantime, I'm doing my own cycling. Uh, I, I I believe some of you knows going through my Instagram. Uh, I do a lot of cycling right now. Um, I do my own jogging, which obviously I don't need to post most of the time. <laughs> So I sometimes I do with my wife. I do with my kids. Uh, I did some interval runs. I did some juggling. I did some juggling and some ball play with my boys. Yeah, uh, just a bit of here and there, getting a feel of, you know, the game back. Obviously, you miss the pitch though. Can I sometimes I just want to drive to East Coast Park and find a pitch and, you know, and just kick the ball. You know, <laughs> I'm so tired of concrete and and everything. But you know, rules are rules. We just we just do what we can. How difficult has it been for you um, prior to signing for Tampines and now also not knowing when the SPL will resume, if it does resume, for you to continue training, not knowing what you are training for? Understand. Understand, yeah, then. Uh, done. Eventually, not me alone. I mean, I believe every player is going, having that same mindset. What are we training for? When are, when is the game starting? When are, when are we officially start training? How many of us can come to train? Five or ten or fifteen? We don't know. So I mean, as this is how it is. This is this is the new norm. We can say, <laughs> even for yourself, for everybody else, uh, in different sectors, different job sk- uh, job scope. Well, we have to accept it. Um, at the same time, we we need to watch out for for our, you know, for our daily routines, we have to do our own uh, new daily routines. I mean, thanks to technology nowadays, we have, you know, we have the Apple Watch, the Garmin Watch to to, to see your heart rate, to see your VO2 max. Are you, at, are you at a level where it is during your playing time or, you know, what, where are you right now, your fats level? You know, thanks to all this that we can eventually monitor. Not at the best of our own way, but you know, at least there's guidance. Finally, um, you're back in Singapore. You say you have a new lease of life almost starting with Tampines Rovers. <laughs> 36 years old, how long more are you going? Uh, have you set a date? And, and I always keep asking you every interview that we have. And, and <laughs> year on year. Um, yeah, when, when is that ended? Or are you taking motivation from Daniel Bennett and then you just keep on going as long as you can? You know, I, uh, I shared this with almost everyone that asked me the same question, uh, eventually I w- I'm going to answer you the same as well. I always target, I always put a, put a target at uh, 35 years old. During, when I, when I was 30, when I was 29, I told myself that, look, 35, I will stop. This is the, the age that I'm, that I'm targeting. So now I'm 36, I'm still playing. <laughs> so, but I already, I already told myself that 36, Yes, you know, sometimes when you plan, things change along the way. Uh, right now, the most, the most important thing here is to come back to Singapore, to get myself settled uh, with my family, uh, planning for the kids. And I can say that it's fortunate, uh, Duncan. I've, I felt fortunate enough 
and I appreciate all these little little uh, things that's going on in my life. During in COVID moments, I have con I have a contract to sign. Yes, it's not the best. I mean, it's not the best of the wonderfuls of contracts, but I I feel thankful that I'm still working. I'm still needed in in you know in some sort of a. Uh, you know, I'm still needed to, to do something on my daily life. And I will take it, I will take it year by year now, Duncan. Uh, because it seems that I will feel guilty, you know, if I'm, if my body is still like this and I'm still, I can say I'm, I'm still at a, at, a, at a level where I'm not, uh, I don't say I'm fat or I don't, I'm still fit, Duncan, full stop. <laughs> I, I still feel... The fitness level is uh, at, at where it was needed for a football game. So I think I can still contribute. There's still hunger in me. But I'll take a year at a time right now as let's see how, how far can we go. But at the same time, I'm, I've met my primary goals, which is you know, to, to finish playing overseas and come back to Singapore. It almost feels like uh, you're in extra time, in added time of your career right now. Yeah, right? Right. <laughs> you know, of 35 at a time. Uh, look, plenty to look forward to uh, this season with, with uh, the SPL, with the Singapore Cup, Tampanese in the AFC Cup, and of course, Singapore national team uh, when football. Yes. So I look forward to, to seeing you on the pitch wearing that yellow jersey and uh, we'll catch up at our Tampanese Hub soon. Bye. Yeah, man, Duncan. Thank you so much, man, for having me. Dunk. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Hope the baby is doing well. Are you sleeping enough? <laughs> I'm not sleeping enough, but we're doing good. <laughs> you still look good though. <laughs> Alright man, bye-bye. Okay.